What's up, guys? Give it a try on nine. Back again with another video, and um, I'm gonna do something a little different for these uh, Christmas pickups because um, my room's a bit of a mess, and I don't really wanna. I'm organizing my games again, and I don't really wanna uh, show that to you guys. But I did want to come and uh, give you guys, uh, wish you guys a Merry Christmas, a uh, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you guys celebrate. I hope you enjoyed it, and also a uh, Happy New Year. And I wanted to give you guys that face to face. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try this out. Uh, see how it goes. I have a lot of pickups. Um, that I got for Christmas and some that I bought a little bit before that I'll include in a little bit after with some of the Christmas money, etc. So I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, so we're going to get started right away. And we're going to start with the games that I grabbed before Christmas. Now, GameStop had, uh, at a point, they had a 50% off GameCube games. And I took advantage of this and grabbed uh, three pretty good games. One especially, I'll be honest, I was really excited to pick up. Uh, number one, I grabbed Reign of Fire. And this is an interesting uh, concept. It's a modern uh, dragon fighter style game where it's a third person shooter and you're taking out dragons in this car as they are, dest are destroying the world around you. Um, pretty interesting. I also grabbed uh, Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. And definitely the one I'm most excited about, Skies of Arcadia Legends. I paid $9 for this and I know that it's really upping its price because it's uh, it's really desired among a lot of gamers now. And all three of these were complete, so I was really excited to grab those. And some more that I grabbed before Christmas. I grabbed Subicoden 4 for the PS2, a game that I really wanted to grab, and I was glad to find this for the price that I did. And I've been on a bit of a Wii uh, hunt recently because uh, I fixed a issue that I had with my Wii controller. So I grabbed both uh, Dragon Blade Wrath of Fire and uh, Red Steel, and I've been enjoying both of those. Dragon Blade's more of a, um, a third-person action game, and Red Steel is a first-person sword and gunfighter. And I also grabbed Lagaya 2 Dual Saga and Mojo for the PS2. Both um, looking forward to try Mojo's uh, marble-style game where you kind of roll around solving puzzles as a mar marble. And I've been on a enjoyment of that recently. All right, so let's get to the Christmas stuff. And first, I'll start off with... Nights in the Nightmare for the PSP. Uh, my best friend Andrew gave me this for Christmas. And uh, he has a YouTube channel that he's just started recently. And I'm going to put a link in the description for you guys to check it out. Um, he likes to do techno music and stuff. And uh, he's really talented. It, not just with the techno music, but with all the instruments that he plays. Um, so I'll put a link in the description. I hope you guys will check that out for me. I was also given three other PSP games. Not from him, but from family. I was given Gladiator Begins, which has a really nice character creation system. The gameplay is pretty good, maybe a little repetitive, but it's one to try. Sid Meier's Pirates, which I haven't tried yet, but I do want on the NES, and that was pretty good. And Valhalla Knights, which I'm looking forward to try. Even though it got pretty bad reviews, I'm going to give it a go. I was also given... Dragon Quest IV, Chapters of the Chosen for the DS. It's still sealed. I haven't been able to give it a go yet, but I will eventually. Solo to Robo, Red the Hunter, also still sealed. Came with the soundtrack. I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. This one uh, was released on my birthday, but I uh, held off. I picked uh, Persona 2 over this, but I got this for Christmas, and I'm looking forward to giving this one a go. And I heard it's sort of an interesting mech-style RPG. Very simple, but I heard it has some of the best graphics on the DS. I'm looking forward to giving it a go. I also grabbed Shin Megami Tensei Persona for the PSP, and this completes my PSP Persona collection, so that was a nice grab. <clears throat> a game that has a lot of mixed reviews that um, I haven't actually hadn't grabbed yet, but uh, I was definitely wanting to, and I grabbed it for a cheap price, 9 bucks. Uh, this is Final Fantasy thirteen for the 360. I'll give it a go and see if I like it, because some people do and some people don't, so I'll see which one I am, and I'll let you guys know. And uh, this is sort of inter an interesting story. I found this, um, at, my friend had uh, bought this at the GameStop, and they actually gave him the extra, an extra disc, so he just kind of gave it to me, and that's Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. It's just the disc, but it was nice to have, and I figured I'd show it to you guys. And finally is a new console that I have. And, uh, this was given to me for Christmas, and I'm really excited that I'll be able to have a new collection. And if you guys had um, have watched my videos you would know that this is not a console that I've ever shown any games for, and the reason is because they don't own one, but now I do. And it is a a PlayStation 3. And if you can see there, I got the Uncharted 3 bundle, which is right here, still sealed for the reason that 
I was also given this Uncharted dual pack. And I'm going to go through them in order. And I know that the first one's the hardest one to get through, but uh, I know it's still an awesome game, but I heard the second one really improves. Uh, so I'm going to beat the first one and then move on to the second, which is right here. And they gave me the Game of the Year edition in this dual pack. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. And I was also given the Ultimate Combo Pack right here that comes with the controller. And both Resistance Fall of Man and Resistance 2, which are both right here. So, really excited to get into that console of collecting, and I'll show you what I have picked up for it so far. So, GameStop had been having a buy two, get one free, and um, I got I took advantage of that with the PS3, and um, also Final Fantasy thirteen was one of the ones I got free. So, here are five PS3 games I picked up. Number one, I grabbed Demon Souls, just because it's a, an RPG that... Sounds like something that I would enjoy. I heard it's very challenging, but I'll give it a go and then move on to Dark Souls if I enjoy this. I also grabbed Folklore. And I grabbed this one on a whim. I didn't really know much about it. I heard it was pretty good, but there were some mixed reviews, so I'll see if I like it. Here's Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriot. Um, I really haven't played many Metal Gear Solid games, so I might hold off playing this one until I have started. Maybe get the HD collection and play through uh, 2 and 3, maybe try and find 1 or something. I'm going to try and play them in order, but I grabbed this because it was cheap. I grabbed Hunted the Demon's Forge, which I heard wasn't too great, but uh, it went down in price quickly, and I'll give it a go. And finally, Fallout New Vegas. Um, I have Fallout 3, really enjoyed it, and we'll see if I'll enjoy uh, Fallout New Vegas. So yeah guys, those are my pickups for December and the end of November. Um, some of the stuff I got for Christmas, which is really generous of my family and friends to uh, give me. And those are all the gaming stuff that I got. I, I also had some nice clothes given to me, etc. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Happy New Year again.